There are some people who call it a turkey neck. Mm -hmm. It is that area that's right under your chin. Right there. And it's not an area that people like to see. Well, there's a new way doctors are tackling the problem. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson shows us how it works. I tease with my daughters that I want to get rid of my turkey neck. It's a part of the body millions of women and men hate, but don't know exactly what to do about it. Mary Senzone has always been self-conscious of her neck and chin. I think it's just one of those things that comes with, with age, and, you know, it's just one of those facts of life that you kind of have to live with. Not so. Ready says Dr. Okay. Matthew Showman. Okay. We watched as he performed what he calls a laser neck lift on Mary, a procedure he developed by combining existing technology. It costs about $5,000. Using local anesthesia, Dr. Showman first inserts a laser into a small incision in Mary's chin. The device heats up the underside of the skin, melting the fat. Then, using liposuction, he removes the liquid, reinserts the laser to now tighten the skin, and then finishes things off using an external laser. I'm not taking any skin away. I'm just really making the skin shrink wrap. So there's still the skin is there. It's just stimulating collagen. It's making that skin tighten and retract. Patients do get better results with traditional neck lifts, but with that procedure, there is scarring and the recovery can be tough. With this, there's little bruising and the downtime is minimal. My patients have been happy giving up a little bit of the cosmetic result in order to get a procedure that's minimally invasive. Dr. Shulman says in a couple of years, patients will need touch-ups, but not because the procedure stopped working, rather they simply continue to age. As for Mary, who's never had plastic surgery, she sees this as a way to ease into things. I'm hoping that it'll just kind of tighten things up a little and maybe take a, a year or two off. <laughs> On the Upper East Side, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.